You gotta be kidding me! What's going on YouTube? We're back at it again today, taking a look at another World of Warcraft guide. Change your pace a little bit from a regular dungeon guide today. This time we're going to be looking at something I think we can all agree is the real reason we play the game. Mounts! Huh? People care more about Raid. Mythic Plus? PvP? Uh... Today we're going to be showing you the requirements needed to unlock the Sinrunner Blanche Mount. Six days, guaranteed mount drop, and it's the greatest horse in the game. Let's get into it. I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is my Twitch stream. Without the love of the community, I couldn't continue to make the videos I do, so thank you guys. All right, you may want to refer back to this map if you need general area information about what flight paths to use or villages you may need to head out to, but I'll be walking you through each step. As I said, this is a six day farm and I use that in the loosest of terms because the process is actually pretty passive and if you work smart and not hard, it's a breeze. Sinrunner Blanche spawns at 63.13, 43.11 every one to two hours. I noticed it was more frequently the full two hours and there's actually a trick I forgot about until the very last day. Custom Group Finder. Seriously, it will cut down your wait time from two hours to potentially less than two minutes waiting for this mount. Because of how many people are still farming it, the groups are plenty. Just make sure you choose the one with war mode on or off depending on your chosen setting. Now there is a flight path up on the cliff northwest of the spawn with an elevator dropping right down next to the spawn location. When he does spawn, he begins to run around like a maniac until a player clicks on him. Each day you'll be able to give him a new item, which is why you will want to collect all of the items before you go find him each day so you're ready. And luckily you can collect everything you'll need for all six days on the first day and save yourself some back and forth time. On the first day, Blanche wants you to bring him eight handfuls of oats. Those are generally farmed in Westfall, but save yourself some time and let the people who have already gotten them out do the farming. They're pretty cheap on the AH, and luckily we have our long boys, so we can all do our buying and trading on the road. <laughs> Seriously though, you are going to want to hit up an auction house before starting. While you're there, you're also going to want to buy 30 of each of the following. Ethereal Meat, Creeping Crawler Meat, Phantasmal Haunch, Morrow Root, and Shadowy Shank. You won't need all of them, but this will save you time if you don't have the auction house mount or a mailbox handy while you're gathering. After you've collected your meats and oats from the auction house, fly to Dark Haven. Two of the items required will drop from there. First, go and speak to Snickersnee, who is busy brushing a horse to collect a grooming brush from him. Then look to his left. You should see an interactable empty bucket lying on the ground. You'll need that too. While I would generally suggest you fly from point to point to cut down on travel time, the third day of farm requires four sturdy horseshoes, and they are lying literally everywhere along the main roads in Rivendreth. So I would recommend until you have all four, which only took me about 15 to 20 minutes of looking, just hoof it. After you've collected your meats, oats, brush, bucket, and hopefully horseshoes, head on down to my boy Tatru, who's at 5179, just south of a very convenient flight path to the west of Darkhaven. He will sell you the comfortable saddle blanket, but the required currency changes daily between the five different crafting items you purchase from the AH. After you purchase the saddle, you can sell the other items back to the AH. You won't need them anymore. Return to the flight path just north of you and take it to the flight point on the western edge of Castle Nathria. There you'll be able to navigate up the stairs and around to a small cluster of stables where you will find a small innkeeper named Mims who will sell you a stack of five Dread Hollow apples. Buy one stack as you will need three. Lastly, leave Rivendreth for Bastion or Ardenweald to use the empty bucket collected before with any water from those zones. Literally, just step in a pool of water and right-click the bucket, then head on back. And that is it. Once you have those six sets of items, you're ready to start on the six-day bonding relationship with this amazing horse. The order he takes the items goes oats, brush, horseshoe, water, saddle blanket, then apple, with the reins entering your inventory when you give him the apple. Unfortunately, this mount does not fly, but it is hands down the coolest horse in the game and a solid mount for players to start off their Shadowlands happy fun times with, especially if you chose Venthyr. Guys, I hope this guide helped you lock down your very own Sinrunner Blanche mount. If it did, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the page. It helps me out so much. We blasted past our goal of 500 subs before the end of the year, and I'd like to see now if we can hit 1,000 subs before January 1st. If you really enjoyed this guide and want to talk more WoW with me, I'm live on Twitch Monday through Saturday from 5 p.m. EST until 10-ish. Until next time, be swell, take care of each other, and remember that we rage because we care. I'll see you guys.